Tavor. It's, it's not a Tavor. T Tavor? I thought it was a Styrog. It's not a Styrog. It's an MDR. Oh no, it's a Springfield Armory. What? The Springfield Armory Hellion is what we've got today, and we're going to be shooting this little bullpup for the first time. Well, they are. I just shot it. <laughs> what is a Hellion? <laughs> Welcome back everybody, Clint today with Classic Firearms. We've got Kaya back with us. What's up guys? And we've got Sarah with us today. Hi guys. And we've got the Springfield Armory Hellion, a newer bullpup on the market that we saw for the first time last year, I think at NRA annual meet. Uh, we saw it shot show yeah. again this year. And now we've got it here in front of us to send some rounds down range with. And before I start talking about what surprised me about this gun, how many bullpups have you shot? Just a couple. I mean, I'd, yeah. I'd say I'm definitely not a bullpup guy. Like, okay. I, I don't have the experience. For it, yeah. But I, I've fired a few. Okay. You last one probably the Styrog that we had on the channel. That's right. And also, oh no, Tavor. I have. Yeah, Tavor. I, you know, I don't think I've shot the Tavor. I don't remember. But I've definitely fired the AUG a few times. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, bullpups. How, which ones? Are you? Resounding zero. You should, so this will be your first oh. bullpup. Yep, it'll be my first. Good. All right. Awesome. So <laughs> okay. So I have shot quite a few, doing the intros, running tactical drills, speed reloads, all that type of stuff, right? Sweet, so I we're gonna be coming with three different perspectives here today, all about the Springfield Armory Hellion, but let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what's pretty unique about this rifle. First of all, a complete ambidextrous design. Left hand, right hand shooters alike, you will be able to pick up this gun, shoot it with comfort. You'll notice the charging handle, Sits right up here, very reminiscent of the HK G36. Make sure the charging handle is in a complete 90 degrees. That'll open it up and allow, or you unlock the bolt and allow you to cycle it. And it goes both ways. Very ambidextrous. Uh, safety, same thing. It's there like you go. HK, HK type it's, safety. It is yeah. actually, kind of, kind, kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll notice that right there. Short throw, really easy to manipulate and get to. Uh, you'll also notice too that we've got naturally an ambidextrous magazine release because it's this little button right back here. So whenever the magazine's inserted, that sticks out a little bit and allows you to send it home. Funny thing about this gun though is, do you know where the bolt catches? Yeah, I played around with it and I thought it was really awkward. Yeah. Way back that way somewhere. Yeah, it's yeah. actually inside the magwell. So you, it's not an actual button. You can just hit the lever that typically locks a bolt to the rear. Yeah. And so as you, there you go. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be very difficult to see, but there's literally a little tab in here that you can get to, and that will lock the bolt to the rear. I personally am not a big fan of that. Yeah, seems not weird. weird. Yeah, a little weird. Um, and my mind immediately goes to like malfunctions, things like that. If I want to lock this to the rear, it's about it. Yeah. You know. Uh, but sending it home, easy enough. You can just pull back on the charging handle, or there is actually a bolt release yeah. right back here. It's you kind of apply like trigger pressure. And that sends yeah. the bolt home, this little guy. Which we'll see how that does yeah. when we try to do like a reload. I think naturally, you know, when I come up, insert the magazine, it's right here. So I can just push back yeah, and okay. get to it. So that's pretty nice. But I also, I mean, it's also, my thumb is literally touching the mag release and the bolt release. Yeah. That might not work with my nails. <laughs> <laughs> and are you able, is your thumb long enough to push that thing? When you're just putting the uh, magazine out? It's a serious question. Push what? Yeah, push the bolt uh, release. Cause it seemed like, um, as you're putting yeah, so it actually let's just, yeah. all right, let's see here again. I'm going to have to do this. If I was, yeah. if I didn't have this bench here, that would be kind of, I would have to do something like that. Um, you're good with that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I do loaded, loaded mag. I'll keep it all safe and everything, but insert here. See? Oh yeah. That's so what I'm to, saying. It's just, hmm. so I have to, so I'm right now my naturally I'm wanting to put up pressure. Yeah. Styrog. That's exactly right. It, it's um, perfect with that. IWI Tavor. Yep. So I'd have to push more rearward. Yes. Dropping the mag, easy enough. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we're gonna try that live fire down range here in just a moment. So that's interesting enough though. So maybe insert here and then come up. Yeah. So I kind of have to rotate my hand. Which is a little awkward. Well, we'll see how it goes. Right. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but other than that, a couple of other neat features, adjustable stock, adjustable length of pull that I've already covered. Uh, it does take a standard AR grip, which is pretty nice. Trigger, so triggers on bull pops have never been known yeah. for being all that great. I will say that this one does have quite a bit of, again, we're clear, a little bit of take up. 
and we'll each uh, dry fire this here in just a second. You'll notice with quite a bit of take up. Then you hit that wall, apply a little bit more pressure, tiny bit more creep before it drops. Reset, a little bit of travel, a little bit of travel, a little bit of, there it goes. All right, tell me what you think. Same thing, we're gonna have that little bit of take up before you hit that very obvious wall. Boom, okay. yep. And then one more time, and then keep the trigger held to the rear and then cycle it. And let's see what you think about the reset. There it is. Okay, it's a what? little long, but little, okay. it's okay. Kaya, tell us what you think. And yeah. I forgot to bring my trigger full gauge. <laughs> Might be able to get that hmm. later, but. All right, let's see. Nice little loose slack right here. And then a little bit of pressure. Okay, not bad. It's not a bad trigger, but yeah. it's also not great either. But yeah. it's yeah. good, a little, little spongy. Yeah. But okay, cool, 16 inch. Uh, Chrome Molly barrel does come with like its little four prong flash hider, easy enough. But one cool thing about this, it does have an adjustable gas system as well. So if you wanted to shoot this suppressed, I think it would be a pretty good host for that. Which, yeah, what's the action on this? Thing? We will definitely be uh, removing that at some point. It is a short stroke piston driven design, okay. which is also pretty cool. Based off of the VHS-2, that is the Croatian standard issue rifle. Uh, notice we got flip up iron sights that are already in the up position to send those. To press down. There we go easy enough to get up because it does have these little integrated I mean, buttons. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly like them. They, they lock into place and they are sturdy. They're, nice. They're not going anywhere. I actually like that. If I need to get them out of the way, I'd rather it be more difficult than me needing them and having to like, oh yeah. God, you know, fumble with them. Just a simple button. button. Yeah. Make sure it's in the position. Yeah, it's easy enough to do with yeah. your thumbs too. It, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So there you have it. Now, when I talked about being a completely ambidextrous design, this does also offer left hand ejection, which is pretty cool. Uh, the gun, the what's that? The yeah, so yeah, and, and some variations of the AUG as well, you, but sometimes you have to purchase a completely different bolt, things okay. like that for left hand. Not with this gun, which is pretty cool. So very easy to disassemble as well. We're not gonna do that right now on camera, but it's toolless and there's, Okay. It's a monkey. <laughs> that thing, <laughs> I heard something, I was like, Sarah, are you okay? <laughs> it's actually got a really easy disassembly too, toolless. It's got a couple of pins that you pop out and that allows you to actually just remove the complete, that's that guy's going. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey is Anyway, to disassemble the gun or field strip it is actually really easy. We're not gonna do it on camera right now because I know you guys wanna see us go shoot the thing, but you got a pin here, pin there, and a pin here that allows you to just go ahead and completely strip this thing down. This pin allows you to remove the stock, and then once you've removed the stock, you can actually adjust then the cheek weld here. Uh, well, you can adjust that without having to remove the stock. We're gonna keep it down here, so that way we have perfect side alignment for this, but if you're running an optic that's sitting up a little bit higher, this does raise up for you. Nice. But once you've removed the stock, you can completely remove the bolt by just pulling back on the charging handle and it just drops free. It looks very reminiscent of like the uh, PTR roller delayed action. Okay. Right? So once you got that free, now you actually can access what's called a, um, it's a pin. It's a dust cover pin that will remove and you can actually slide it into the other one. It's a locking pin that actually keeps this from moving back and forth. Notice we have one on the left hand side of the gun as well. Once you do that, you just remove the bolt. Uh, it's a captured bolt, everything's spring uh, captured. You remove that, rotate it 180 degrees, reassemble, put it back together, now it's extracting, extracting on the left-hand side. Okay, so Very, it removes the extractor too? Yeah, well yeah, just replaces the, or you just, just remove smooth. the bolt and rotate it 180 degrees and you're able to rock and roll. Right. So no extra parts yeah. you have to buy, nothing like that. So that part's really, really cool. Amazing. The ergonomics of the gun are kind of We'll, we'll figure that yeah. out. I do like that it takes standard AR grips, which is really cool. And it comes with, what is that like? It looks like a BCM, yeah. um, or it's probably a Springfield type of grip. But uh, anyway, it comes with a standard AR grip with the little beaver tail right back here. I like it. I really like the grip angle. It's nice and Grip steep. angle is awesome, mate. I agree. Yeah, yep, I like that quite a bit. So let's take it down range. Let's get a couple of shots on target and see how we all like it, like to run it and run a couple of drills. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't think you can put that on YouTube. There's only 28. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so who wants to go next? Me? Yep. 
It shoots very low. Your height of bore is something you have to take yeah, into consideration. You can tell. Aim at the head. I mean, look at that, like, yeah. perfect. You can, I, as it's, soon as you shoot it low, I was like, that yep. thing is too high. Yeah. So aim at the head. Yeah. How do I, you just, oh, okay. She got it. All right, all right, all right. Initial thoughts. Oh, it was really fun. I'm being sold on a ball pup real easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Easy enough. Yeah. Kaya? It's great. Uh, recoil is extremely soft. Obviously, the height over bore, you got to aim there. a little bit higher from yeah. this distance. Yeah. Overall, pretty freaking good. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I can't shoot it all that fast. It's long take up with the trigger, yeah. right? Uh, granted, with a little bit of practice and training, learn that reset, probably send it. But one thing I noticed is while I was just kind of mag dumping it, I was kind of like, oh, I'm hitting a little to the right, hitting a little low, let me adjust while shooting. Yep. Mm -hmm. So subconsciously, if it's that easy to go ahead and start making those corrections, yeah, it's a light recoiling gun. I do like the way it feels. I think um, overall, just the gun in action, yeah, awesome. Yeah. It feels really, really good. Yeah, the mechanics. Like you really got to get used to mechanics because it's a different platform than obviously AR. It's bullpup platform. So you really, like I'm not a bullpup person, You've, like you and I aren't. So I was having a hard time, oh, yeah, loading yeah. this and take the mag oh. out. So definitely very slow with that. So that's interesting you say that because that's what we're doing next. We're gonna roll into now, since we have a couple of empty mags, a couple of full mags, we're gonna do some really easy one reload, one shot with the Springfield Hellion. So let's just roll into it. Really simple drill. I've got a empty mag loaded, but I do have one round in the chamber. Sarah's got the shot timer. Uh, once I give her the cue to go ahead and start, she'll start it off. And just so you guys know, just go ahead and be aiming at the target. No low ready or anything. All we're trying to focus on is getting that new mag in there, sending the bolt home and getting another shot on the target. Gotcha. So a whole new system for me too. I am somewhat more familiar with bull pups, but not with this gun. So let's just see how this goes. All right, Sarah. You ready? I am ready. All right. Oh Lord. Okay, they were both hits, but I also noticed that I flipped it onto yeah. safe instead of fire. Yeah. The safety is a little weird for me, I will say that. So what was the time? 5.84. So 5.84 seconds. What was the split time on that? So from, from the time it took from one shot to the next? It is 4.51. Okay. Mm. All right. Not too bad, not too bad. I think now that I'm getting a little familiar with it, Maybe one more time? Let's nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> you get one time. What? Even though the safety was on? You get one time. What? That's bullshit. Because they're going to have twice each. You got to get No, they're not. They it. get one time. What? That's yeah. it? Yeah, you just get one time. Cool. All right, fine. Whatever, dude. <clears throat> got one in the chamber. It is on safe. All right, Sarah. All right, you're on fire. You're set. You good? Mm-hmm. Shooter, stand by. Okay. Good drop. Nice. The bolt release is in the back. Oh, it's in the back. Shit. <laughs> Nicely done. The bolt release, I know, yeah. messed you up. You're I'm like looking safe. for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I like what you did though, because really fast, instead of trying to use it with your thumb, you went with what you knew. Which was my finger. And you just popped that right back yeah. there. So that looked really smooth, actually. So 8.69 was your total time. And it picked up 
8.13, which is kind of funny. I think it's actually 8.17 because I think it's actually picking up the ringing of the steel. Oh. So 8.17 is where we're at. I can do that. See, that's what I'm saying too, but Ryan says we only get to do one drill, so. Look, here's what happens. We do five mulligans and we're about 20 minutes into a video. I said two times, this would be two times. You're like, okay, now that we're experienced with it, we throw in another one. Anyway, Kaya, it's your turn. All right, Kaya, stand by. Countdown, three, two, one. Five point two three, nice. Okay. So that was good. And so you broke the. So I don't remember how I actually did the reload now. So how do you eject one now? Oh, just charge. Just oh, right, it. right, right, okay. okay. Yeah, just like that. Got it. So yeah, so you came down here and kind of cradled it too, yeah. which really opens it up and allows you to actually see and everything yeah. too, which is which is a good idea, I think. Guys some people might. See it. Yeah, some people might disagree, however, because you should be maintaining you know eyes down range stuff like that and then insert mag i don't know let us know what you guys think down in the comment section I'll, below i'll say something about the down range comment real quick what's down there is really my priority right yeah. obviously when this thing is empty to get this thing back in the fight is my priority now over that that's the way i look at it unless your target moves now you don't know where the hell he went yeah you know it's such a split second unless <laughs> that guy's a flash he's like that then i won't lose him it's a it's a very i, I sincerely mean this i've argued this this gun is what's important to get it back in the fight. If this is dry, that also helps. Look at it. I mean, whatever. Like, as in, you need to have. This is a brick without a bolt. You know? Switching to your secondary is quicker than fight than reloading. Okay, Captain Price. You messed up the. Bullets. Anyway, all right, cool. So, yeah. this is, are you having a good time? Yeah. Way to slide into that joke. Did not work for you. All right, so. One more reload. One more reload. Let's go back through it one more time. Let's see how the ergonomics work. And let's see now that we're a little bit more familiar with the controls, even just doing this drill once, I am confident that we can all speed up our times unless now I just got into all of our heads about yep. saying that, so. Yeah. It's all right, we can do it. We got this. Give me a gun. So my time to beat is just under six seconds. I'm gonna try to break that five second mold. Five second mold. We'll, we'll, we'll see how we do. There you go. All right, I'm ready. All right. Uh-oh. Okay, both hits, happy with that. Where are we at? What is it? 4.1. Is it 4.1? 4.1. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. So 4.16. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. So yeah, just running that drill. Again, I still fumbled though. It's... I noticed it wasn't as smooth. Go ahead and clear that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so one in the chamber. Yep. Beep. Empty mag. I need a full. Okay. Are you having fun? <laughs> All right, Sarah. You ready? Yep. All right, so you're in. There we go. Stand by. Here it comes. Quick on the button. Get in there. Get it. Get it. Oh. 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 It. Still faster, 7.66. Yeah? I'll take it. So you actually went over, well, you decreased it, you were what, 8.6 yeah. something before? So a second. So you I'll were literally a second faster. Um, uh, so again, uh, just familiarizing yourself with those controls, I think, you know, we'll, I'll take we'll it. get there. Kaya, your last up. Let's do it. There's one in. All right. You got full? That's the full one. Yep. Damn. There's one in the chamber. Uh -huh. so. All right. 7.66, 4.1 he said. Okay. All right, Kai, ready? Yes, sir. All right, stand by. Got in there. I fumbled. Yeah, Big I time! Yep. <laughs> uh oh, Kai's the only one who didn't do better. Yeah. 6.75 was your yeah. total time. But at the end of the day, again, just repetition practice with these yeah. drills. Some people will say one R1, one reload one isn't like a practical way of doing it. But personally, I'm actually a kind of a fan because it just, again, familiarizes yourself with those controls. Oh yeah, you, know? you gotta train, dude. You gotta yeah. train like crazy with this. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I really do like it. Um, it's good. I actually have one more question though. Will it shoot ah, a standard GI OK Industries aluminum Let's mag? Find out. Yeah, Sarah, you try. Okay. I figured as much. <laughs> there we go. And just go ahead and dump it. Just let it rip. All right. It'll shoot. Yep. 
Nice. I'm not a huge fan of the, the safety? safety switch. Yeah. It's kind of hard. Ready? Yep. So yeah, I'd it say works. It, it, it feeds pretty well. <laughs> All right, great. The extraction on this is kind of funny too. It just kind of like lobs them out, which is pretty funny. But yeah, the short stroke design with the adjustable gas system, I think I think Springfield did a really good job with it. I, I think it has some little, I guess you could say nitpicky little things about it. But overall, the complete ambidextrous design that also is a toolless takedown, toolless left-hand extraction, I think they did a really cool thing with that as well. The AR grip and adjustable stock, something you don't really see a lot of. Uh, with bull pups and well Springfield incorporated it here uh, M lock rail right up front So if you wanted to throw on any type of M lock attachments lights lasers vertical grips, whatever type of you know Tactical gizmos you want to throw on there you can and on top of that uh, You'll probably see this gun in a later video too when we start comparing to some uh, silencers uh, again, we're gonna have some flow through designs and maybe some not so flow through and see how that feels on different platforms I feel like this should be one of the guns that's tested with that. So let us know down in the comment section below. And I think it's safe to say we can leave it off there. What do you guys have any takeaways, final points? I mean, it's overall great. I mean, I'm not a, a bullpop person, very, I would say very new to it. And I thought uh, it shot extremely well. Yeah. I actually thought it w I wasn't gonna like it this much. Yeah. I like it a lot more than I thought I, I would. Same. I'm obviously very new to bull pups. Um, I like the compactness of it. I think it's really easy to handle. Yeah. Uh, it's also pretty lightweight, so I that, enjoy. That, that's, I'm glad you brought that up because it is a lightweight design and also when the stock is completely collapsed, it is, where is it? There we go. That is a 28 inch design, just over 28 inches in total length, which is really cool because you still have a 16 inch barrel in the bullpup design. Mm -hmm. So this gun as it sits right now is just as long as my 10.3 inch short barreled rifle, yeah. which is an NFA item, which you have to pay extra taxes on and blah, blah, blah. But then you get something like this, and now you've got this compact design that's not losing any velocity out of the 16 inch barrel because it's still a 16 inch barrel, unlike shorter barrels of a traditional rifle in order to get this overall length. It's it's pretty good. I'm uh, thinking about this. If you're gonna use an optic, obviously, uh, hide over bore. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's already with iron sights. Pretty high. It's pretty high. So with an optic, you may be right over here. So mm -hmm. you that's something. Yeah, you're not gonna wanna use like your traditional AR height optic, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's um, even if you do, you can still, you know, overcome that. Like I said, it does have the adjustable cheek riser that pops up. I'm talking um, about like aiming for. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah you're still gonna have to, you know, take into consideration, like you're saying, hide over bore. We're having to aim at the head, just yeah. over the head, at this short 20 yard distance. 15, 15, yard, 15 yard distance in order to make contact with the target, and that's a condensed C zone, really kind of small target. All right, so if, if I could give any advice, yeah. they take it, flare this magwell. That's, it's just so tight, it's almost like very, very tight fit. Yeah, I mean, it is, you have to be perfectly aligned. Yeah, like perfectly aligned. Yeah. And that stress. was the biggest thing you struggled yeah. with. Yes, it was yeah. just yeah. like that. So if you flare this thing, because under stress, if you think this is bad, under stress it's gonna be way worse. So I would definitely flare it and then you win. Yeah. It'd be much better rifle. Anyway, overall, pretty yep. cool gun. Let us know again if you'd like to see it in our suppressor comparison that we're probably gonna have coming up very, very soon. Uh, and from there, don't forget to head on over to cfcontest.com to see what kind of magic is taking place. But uh, anyway, as always, we appreciate your business. God bless. Bye guys. <laughs> and we'll see you next time at Classic Firearms. <laughs>